All right, welcome back, YouTube. So the last video got cut off. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, I don't know if I bumped the wrong thing on my phone or bumped the button on the screen or if I was out of space. I did check to see if the issue was that I was out of space and I think it showed that it was like 89% full, which should be more than enough to still continue shooting video. I probably shouldn't even be filming this, but I don't know. When personal drama happens right in front of me, I just feel compelled to record it. But this guy that's approaching this woman in the field, at least I think he's approaching her. Uh, maybe he's approaching me. Maybe I should start walking. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> um, oh, no, no, no. He's definitely... He's definitely there confronting her. <laughs> Look at who's walking past her to me. Um, always makes me nervous the way really big trucks have to swing wide in places like that. Um, so yeah, he just came out of that, that reddish SUV right there. It looks like he's walking back to it. Um... You know, I was thinking he physically threw that woman out of the SUV uh, just now on Oak Street. But maybe she was just simply trying to get away from him. It's kind of hard to say. Um, but yeah, I was just walking along the sidewalk towards 44th Street. Uh, I'm, I've still got a pretty decent time gap before I need to get down to the Van Buren bus. Uh, I was planning on going home after, after, uh, after I realized that I didn't have time to go to Osbar when I left, uh, when I left Costco. I figured I'd have like 45 minutes to chill at home and maybe work on some of my karaoke music and other music. And I just kind of got started talking and flogging and then, and then you know, it's like, oh shit, I cut myself off. And then I realized I cut off more than I thought I cut off. And, and, and anyway, that led to me being here and it's like, yeah, there's no point in me really vlogging right now. I should keep my eyes open for a, uh, I should keep my eyes open for a, um, uh, lie. I'm walking back towards 44th street. I know. And then this drama unfolded. Now I'm kind of curious where this woman is walking to. Um, I hope I'm, she's not too small to the frame, but I can't see my screen enough to do any kind of worthwhile zooming on her. It seems like she knows where she's going. So I don't know, maybe he, maybe she was previously homeless. I mean, I can only imagine what this backstory is. I know nothing. I just know that there's a woman right there walking through the park towards where a bunch of homeless people hang out. And as you can see, there's a bunch of homeless people hanging out over there. That's some more over there. Um, and uh, she's not really direct, walking directly towards any of the large groups of homeless. She seems to be walking more in the direction of the playground and the restrooms. So maybe she's trying to get around more normal people and away from this guy. God knows what his situation is. It's a pretty nice... Uh, Pretty nice crossover SUV, whatever the hell you call it. You know, as much as I hate those style of cars, I can at least acknowledge that's a you know nice vehicle. <laughs> at least he's not walking like my ass is. But she jumped out of the vehicle directly in front of the entrance to Costco there, right in front of me. Which is kind of scary. Like I, what caught my attention is they were heading down the down the street towards me on Oak as it suddenly the passenger door was wide open as the car is going down the street. Yeah, that's never a good sign. Like, I'm expecting some somebody to just, something to come flying out that door right in front of me, you know, and really wishing I was vlogging at that time. But uh, she ends jumping out while his vehicle is moving. Now, it's not moving very fast. He's probably slowed down to about two miles per hour, but he's still definitely in motion. And she jumps out of the vehicle, stumbles a little bit, lands on her feet, though, and just walks directly in front of me and into this part of the park like where I am standing right now um looked like she was crying and I'm just like what the hell and, and and she and then she walks along the the mound there which kind of is like the outside edge of this baseball field there's that mound which can kind of controls the irrigation and I don't know it's just kind of a a mound I sometimes use this as, as a path 
to kind of keep me above the thicker grass until I get even with the alley street, entrance street in front of me, and then I'll walk through the alley. Oh, that guy's driving off. Dude, looks like she left you. <laughs> it's time to, time to move on. Um, I wonder if he's going to turn right into the parking lot and still try to pursue her. As I'm, as I'm hearing, as psychosis in my head is making me hear, she's gone by Hall and Oates, clear as if it was being played on a Walkman right now. Oh, if y'all could hear all the noise in my head, it'd be an adventure for everybody. Do you think he'd pay the devil to replace her? Maybe. Although one wonders what, what the events are that led up to that. Which reminds me of the time uh, my first fiance Tracy, jumped out of my vehicle in a very near similar situation. At around, uh, at around Lincoln Drive and Scottsdale Road. Um, but I'm not sure if that's a story for another time or just something I'd really rather not talk about ever. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Every time I think back to stories about Tracy, those just those just break my heart. But uh, I don't know. Was she the one who got away, or was I just lucky that that ended when it did? A few times that it did, because it was an on and off again thing for a while. So miss her though. A whole lot of people hanging out in the park. So yeah, I don't know what that woman's deal was, but boy, that was I've never seen somebody get jump out of a moving vehicle like that, like right in front of me before. So that was uh, pretty wild to say the least. Uh, a lot of people hanging out. Hanging out with a bunch of junk, which kind of makes me believe that they've got no place else to be. That's that's not what you normally see when a family's having a picnic in the park. Just to me. Uh, Keep a distance against that couple. So I think I'm going to walk over here to where they have the uh, morning fentanyl parties. This time it's light enough to we all see where it is. And the area is clear, but you can see it's kind of dirty. They'll leave their leave their trash behind. Actually, it's not as bad as it usually is. That orange shopping, shopping cart full of garbage is still there, though. Yeah, it's bright enough now. Y'all can see it. Last time I walked through here shooting video when I was on my way to wander in. I, I watched that video and and I, I certainly if y'all could see it on your screens that's awesome but man I sure, sure sure could not see it on the screen of this phone. It just looked like darkness. But hopefully hopefully someday soon I'll get get a phone to continue this vlog project on that shoots video at night that's actually you can actually see something. Um Oh, it looked like that couple was walking towards me. Oh, wow. Now, that was unexpected. That homeless-looking couple that was walking towards me that I walked across the street to kind of not be directly in contact with got into that car right there. All kinds of interesting action here on the north edge of uh, Pierce Park today. Um, what's up? Hi. I'm fabulous. How you guys doing? Because I can? A lot of people don't. That guy looks like he's wanting to start some conflicts. I'm gonna keep on my head out this way. I still find it amusing that people use the term videotaping to refer to uh, shooting digital video on a smartphone. There's uh, absolutely no tape involved. Oh, goodness. What time is it? Uh, 4.52. Yeah, that's probably as good a time as ever 
to get a scooter. So I guess I'm going to have to explain on the next video, if I get around to it, uh, what my uh, transit ordeal was trying to get to uh, that half shift at Amazon Friday night, because uh, believe me, it was an ordeal. And I'm really wanting to talk about how it went, went down, but uh, no time right now. I need to get on the scooter and get myself down to Van Buren.